guys, welcome back. Um, sorry I've been a bit absent the last month. I actually ended up getting COVID. Um, well, I actually ended up getting a head cold for like two weeks and then COVID after that. So I've honestly been just sick <laughs> the last month, but nothing, nothing serious. Like I'm all good, but just been taking it, taking it easy. Um, I've got two jobs um, that I'm going to put in this video that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to one now, and I did one yesterday, but I'll put them together. Um, it's, yeah, just one job is that I thought was interesting because I thought I'd fixed the problem, but I got a call back, and um, the other one is I finally got a call back from a customer who tried to install their own aircon, wasn't working. I'm going to make some changes today and see if that fixes it. Anyway, stay tuned and we'll check it out. Thank you. Taking this out, had two time two 14 inch ducks, obviously upsizing that. Um, also, I noticed that the return air planum, um, it's not only has it got 14 inch ducks, but it's also a little bit small. Um, and you just put silver tape around it to seal it. So, and also it's the um, only return air planum I've ever seen that's been riveted in. So, I would normally just unscrew it and change it, but I've got to go and draw these rivets out. It's a bit annoying, but anyway, I'll change it over and see if it makes a difference. This is what I mean. Riveted in. A bit annoying, but anyway, that's also what I mean. It's like a bit small, ducks are too small. Hopefully that's the reason why it's cutting out on HP. We'll soon find out though. Alright, so I just left that job. I was going to um, put my gauges on and show you all the pressures and whatever, but the guy had to leave. But so basically I um, upsized those return air ducts which I believe definitely had to happen um, and then I turned it on and I just went and checked the air flows and on so this thing has two zones basically upstairs and downstairs downstairs zone had no air even though the zone motor was open so I jumped up in the roof and he had um, basically a zone motor, two 14 inch ducts going off, 14 inch zone motor, 14 inch zone motor, and one of them, so they have like a tab which tells you if it's opened or closed. And on the downstairs one, that tab wasn't there, it's just gone. And the customer stuck his head up the manhole behind me and I said to him, this one doesn't have a man, uh, tab, I don't know if it's open or closed. And he said, yeah, when I installed this initially, I couldn't find the cables, so I just reefed it open with my hand. Um, anyway, I think he snapped something off because I, I disconnected the duct and the thing was closed, even though it had power going to it saying open and it was jammed. 
So, this guy's a, he's a really nice guy. I like him. He's a cool dude. But this thing, 100% was cutting out on HP because the return air ducts were too small and one of the zone motors was jammed shut all the time. So, um, if he has, like, just downstairs zone on, it actually was both zones shut. So, obviously, it's going to cut out. Um, but even when he turned both zones on, it would have only been the upstairs on. So, basically, it would have been sucking up two 14-inch ducts and spitting out just one 14 inch duct um, which is just not enough and head pressure goes up so there's nothing wrong with the Mitsubishi unit it's totally fine it's all good it was just an installation error 100% so um, I didn't get to film as much as what I wanted to but that explains what the issue was for that job the next job is um I'll go to the job and show you and you'll probably remember it so Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I'm back at this one. You may remember it. Um, basically, I was at this unit like four months ago and I came here for a service call and it wasn't working because I had no gas in it. And basically, I pressure tested it and found that the pair coil, the line set, was just, I'd never seen it before, but it went, um, like porous and it had like multiple leaks all through it you may remember that video anyway um what i did was i just replaced the the whole pair coil like replaced it all so from the flare nuts right there to the flare nuts on the indoor unit replaced it all um so 100 percent got rid of multiple leaks um fixed it it's been working fine four months later the customer calls me it's not working again i've come back out um and it's got no gas again and i was very shocked to say the least anyways um i went looking for it and i could not find it anywhere so about a week ago i um cut the pipes looped it and basically i've pressure tested just the pipes just the outdoor unit just the indoor unit so now i'm going to um i've come back like a week later and put my gauges on and find out which section is leaking and then um basically that allows me to or just I, I do this sort of thing when i can't find a leak just at least it will show me the rough location i need to be looking for Show you what I mean. So basically, you just solder that shut, solder that shut, pressure tested just the outdoor, and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side of the house. Okay, so this is what I mean. Basically, that's what the the other side of the line set so I've pressure tested just the pipe itself and I've tested just the indoor unit itself so basically I have just put my gauges on here already it's just started raining here so it's bloody hard to feel but anyway um, I just put my gauges on both here and here have got high pressure so indoor unit and line set are good however the outdoor unit it's dropped pressure so i'm going to take that apart and do a pressure test on just the outdoor unit let's see where it is can't believe being luck though honestly Anyway, I had 3,500 in that, and it's got less than 500 kPa. Um, it's basically uh, find where the leak is. All right, so I ended up taking this unit back to the workshop, and um, 
So the reason why I did that is because it was absolutely torrential rain and it just wouldn't stop and it was on a sat day and yeah so i already had the um outdoor unit disconnected um so i thought may as well just put it in the back of the van took it back to the workshop and anyway what i ended up doing is i pressure tested the outdoor unit by itself in two separate um areas so i just did the coil by itself and then the rest of the outdoor unit by itself and basically yeah the outdoor coil was just dropping pressure so i knew it needed a new coil anyway so i literally just submerged the whole coil in water and ended up finding two separate leaks actually so um yeah that coil is cooked anyway i'll show you now where the leak is the coil it's the outdoor unit took the coil out so this is definitely fixable, like in terms you can just get a new coil, but it's not really worth it to be honest. It's leaking somewhere around here. Anyway, and it's also leaking somewhere in here, somewhere. Like you, you honestly, or I, can't even get that to bubble anywhere. So I would have totally missed that. But when you put it under water, which obviously you're not going to do if you're going to reuse the coil, but I'm not. I, but I submerged it under water, and yeah, it's definitely got a leak there, and a leak there. So, um, yeah, ended up just giving them a quote to get a new coil and um, a quote to replace, see what they want to do.